Welcome to this tutorial on connecting devices with TOSLINK leads. Free from ground loop or RF interference issues, fibre optic connections are among the best ways to connect devices. The only disadvantage is that leads are limited to a maximum distance of approximately 10 metres. The two primary signal formats that TOSLINK leads are used for in the home and project studio are SPDIF Stereo and ADAT 8 channel. The optical signal takes the form of a red light, so it's easy to see if a signal is present simply by looking at connectors or sockets. As leads can only send signals in one direction and two leads are required for send and return connections, you can connect leads easily without having to label them. Leads are delicate, so it's important to take care and not kink or bend them. It may be a good idea to run them in a plastic conduit if you think they may be vulnerable. Connecting devices with TOSLINK leads requires two distinct processes. Number one, physically connecting the leads. And number two, configuring the digital audio synchronization word clock signal, which may involve connecting a BNC word clock lead. Also, if one of the devices is the software environment of a door, you will need to create and configure a mixer channel with an I.O. plugin in it. Here's a rundown of the connection processes. Number one, turn down the monitoring system. Number two, nominate the device which will operate as the word clock master, either the door, audio interface, or effect processor. Three, turn on the effect processor. Four, set the sample rate of the effect processor to match that of the word clock master device. Number five, set the I.O. of the effect processor to optical or TOS link. Number six, set the word clock sync of the effect processor to synchronize to the embedded word clock signal within the SPDIF TOS link signal. Seven, whilst observing the red light signal in the lead connectors and sockets, connect two TOS link leads between the effect processor and two available TOS link ports on the audio interface you may find you will need to remove ports and connector covers first. Eight, create a stereo auxiliary channel object in your door, insert an IO utility into it and set its outputs and inputs to the physical IO ports the effect processor is connected to on the door's audio interface. Nine, whilst observing the meters on the effects processor, ping the connection to allow the door to determine the required latency compensation. 10. Send the signal to the AUX and check it is getting to and returning from the effect processor. And finally, 11. Raise the monitor level. The script for this tutorial, with accompanying screenshots, can be found at projectstudiohandbook.com. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or at the website to get instant notification of new videos as they are uploaded. And please do click on the ads of interest to you. We're a free resource and they help to pay our costs. Thanks very much for watching.